or relatives of victims from the Ikoyi building are hopeful and praying that they find their loved ones who may still be trapped in the debris. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, who visited the site of the tragedy, tells us more. Right here to talk to relatives that one way or the other have lost someone or are still expectant that their loved ones might be able to come out of this debris. As the bulldozers tear through the debris, all eyes gazed with so much hope and anxiety, waiting to hear the voices of trapped victims begging to be rescued. With worried looks, they frantically made their way to the scene, not sure if their loved ones are still trapped, while others were certain that their families are within the rubbles. Inside there, and he came to look for his friend. Then, not quite 20 minutes, the building is collapsed. So, the name of my brother Bob uh, Adewale. So, Sene, that is why we are here since three days. In, um, uh, our wife now called me that uh, he's looking for his, his husband. Though. Maybe I know where he is. So, as I. So as I now, I, I just hear from anybody that uh, everybody that's about there that uh, there is one incident that has happened at Ikoyi uh, or this and that. So they now said it's among, among people that, uh, that are here. So that's why we came here. They called the number, they not pick the number, they say number six up, number six up. Now make you say, we no go fish down like that. Make, a, make you just the final. If you see them for somewhere, okay, if you don't see them, you go come check for here because instead in the workers like uh, those people. Residents have trooped out today to report missing relatives as they gave useful information to the authorities in charge. The ambience was gloom, with onlookers and bystanders wearing one looks. Alas, victims of those strapped which were conspicuous around the vicinity were towed away. President Architect Registration Council of Nigeria, Dikbo Ajayi, gave some glimpse of hope that there may be a possibility of victims who may still be trapped alive. It's possible we have a sample where people are in the rubble for five days and they, are, they still miss them. Yeah, but this is a matter of uh, uh, divine intervention, as I put it. Yeah. He also spoke on the need for developers to trust local architects, as he claimed the collapsed building was contracted to Italian architects. You can't just continue to do things with impunity because you just have the money. You've got to follow the true process. When you have architects in Nigeria that are jobless and who are more qualified. The death toll has increased in the past 24 hours and more are still expected to be rescued. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.